गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद जुनेद सिद्दीकी वेलकम इन द ब्रिज डिज़ाइन एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ स्टील ट्रस्ट एनालिसिस बाय यूजिंग आई एल डी सो एनालिसिस ऑफ अलेटिस गर्डर ब्रिज फॉर अ ब्रॉड गेज रेलवे लाइन बाय यूजिंग आई एल डी सो इन अ प्रीवियस टू लेक्चर्स वी हैव एनालाइज द सम मेम्बर्स which cuts the section 11 and section 22 now in this lecture the remaining members which cuts the section 33 and section 44 that will analyze so in previous members the forces we obtain in the top chord members in the bottom chord members in the diagonal members the remainings are vertical member and the end post so we'll start with the vertical member u2 l2 so here also we'll keep the unit load in the left hand side of the section 33 so limits are 0 to 10 meter so limits al2 the limits are 0 to 10 meter so here we'll cut this vertical member and we are keeping the unit load in the left hand side of the section 33 so for the sake of simplicity we'll consider the right hand side of the section 33 here we need the vertical forces u2 l2 so summation f of y equal to 0 x by 30 is going vertically upward and f of u2 l2 is vertically downward so f of u2 l2 is x by 30 limits are at x equal to 0 so ordinate is 0 at x equal to 10 meter the ordinate is 0.33 similarly we'll keep the unit load in the right hand side of the section 33 that is l3 to b so lim limits are 15 meter to 30 meter here also we have kept the unit load in the right hand side of the section so for the sake of simplicity we'll consider left hand side of the section 33 so summation f of y equal to 0 30 minus x by 30 is going vertically upward and f of u2 l2 is also going vertically upward so f of u2 l2 is minus 30 minus x by 30 so limits at x equal to 15 so ordinates are minus 0.5 at x equal to 30 the ordinates are 0 so we'll draw influence line diagram with respect to this ordinates so at x equal to 0 the limit ordinate is 0 at x equal to 10 meter the ordinate is 0.33 at x equal to 15 meter ordinate is minus 0.5 at x equal to 30 the ordinate is 0 so here also some portion of this influence line diagram is negative and some portion of the influence line diagram is positive so here this values will get by the similarity of the triangles so here we'll get this is 2 meter and this distance is 3 meter so now force in the member u2 l2 due to dead load so area of ild so here first we'll get the positive area and negative area so negative area so the length of this negative span is 15 plus 3 18 meter so half of 18 into 0.5 is 4.5 positive area is the base length is 12 meters so half into 12 into 0.33 1.98 so 1.98 minus 4.5 into 21.1 so we'll get the dead load force is minus 53.17 kN which is compressive so now we'll get here the tensile force due to live load so positive area of ild into load into cda so positive area length base length is 12 meter so cda for the 12 meter is 0.594 and the load for the 12 meter from the bridge rule is 1377 kN on per track so per girder will divide it by 2 divide by 12 for the intensity into 1.98 the positive area into 1.594 will increase the load by 59.4% due to impact 
so we'll get here the tensile force as 181.08 kilonewton similarly compressive force due to live load so cda for the negative area length is 0.483 and the load for the 18 meter span from the bridge roll is 1820 kilonewton so we'll divide it by 2 for the per girder divide by 18 for the intensity into 4.5 into 1.483 so we'll get the load as 337.38 kilonewton so we'll feed all the data in the same table so for member u2 l2 the force in the member due to dead load is 53.1 in the live load is 337.38 compressive 181.08 tensile so total load is 390.55 compressive and 181.08 tensile the next member is vertical member u1 l1 since no load is transmitted to l1 there will be no force in this member that means we can say this is zero force member that's why the force in the member L1, L2 and A, L1 will be same. Similarly, in the U3, L3 member, so U3, L3 member, here also, since no load is transmitted to U3, so there will be no force in this member or we can say the member U3, L3 is zero force member. The last member is our end post, which is A, U1. So here we'll keep the unit load in the region L1B since the left side of the section there is no space so we'll keep directly the unit load right hand side of the section L1B the limits are 5 to 30 meter. So for the sake of simplicity we'll consider the left hand side of the section 44. So here we'll resolve this force AU1 summation fy equal to 0 so 30 minus x by 30 plus f of a u1 into sine of theta we'll rearrange the term so f of a u1 is minus 30 minus x divided by 30 into 0 0.832 we'll simplify it the limits are at x equal to 5 meter so f of a u1 is minus 1 at x equal to 30 meter the f of a u1 ordinate is 0 so our influence line diagram is like this so at x equal to 5 meter it is minus 1 at 30 meter it is 0 obviously at 0 meter it will be 0 so we'll get the forces dead load as well as due to live load so due to dead load area of ILD minus half into 30 into 1 into 21.1 which is 316.5 kilonewton compressive due to live load so CDA for the 30 meter span is 0.372 and the load for the 30 meter span is from the bridge rule is 2727 kilonewton. So 2727 by 2 divided by 30 into minus half into 30 into 1 into 1.372. So we'll get 935.36 kilonewton which is compressive force. Now we'll feed all the data in the same table. So for AU1, the force in the member due to dead load is 316.5 kN, due to live load is 935.36 compressive. So total compressive force is 1251.86. Now the last is the design load. So here we got almost all the forces in the table. So design load will be for top cord member. So U2, U3, the total load is 1251.86 and U1, U2 is the 1048.65. The highest load, the greatest load from this two member is 1251.86. So we'll take the design load as 1251.86. Similarly, in the bottom cord member, the highest load is 1114.16. So design load is same. Now in the diagonal member, the highest load in the compression is 219.46 and the tension 836.05. So we'll design the diagonal member for the tension and we'll check it for the compression. In the vertical member, the 
highest compressive force is 390.55 and the tensile force is 21.08 so we'll design all the vertical members here u3 l3 is 0 and u1 l1 is 0 so there is no force in u3 l3 and u1 l1 but same will design for the compression 390.55 kN load and we'll check it for the tension 181.08 kN and last in the end post the compressive force is 1251.86 here we get all the forces of the left hand side of the truss member now the right hand side of the truss members are same since the truss is similar truss similar about the yy axis the forces here we got in the left hand side of the section so same forces will be in the right hand side of the section thank you